Looks like he might make quick work out of me. He's destroying my guys. What is up guys, we are back with some more Monster Sanctuary and uh, I came across, or I did some more map exploration actually and I saw this person here with like this weird like dripping cat. Um, so I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like a fight or something. So I just wanted to stop here while I was doing like all my exploration and leveling up and whatnot. So let's get to it. Hello fellow traveler. Oh, you're a monster keeper, aren't you? How many champion monsters have you bested so far? Three? Not bad. Me? I have some monsters of my own, all right, but I don't mess with champion monsters. I'm just a wanderer, exploring the different regions of the sanctuary. Sometimes I find some treasure. I'll tell you what, you keep doing the good work, these crystal shards will come in handy when you're deep in some dungeons. Crystal shards teleports you back to the Keeper's Stronghold. Oh, that's actually, like, really convenient. So now we don't have to, like, try to find, like, the, the fast travel teleport uh, crystal shrine things. These crystal shards are special items. You can use them to return to the teleporter stone and the keeper stronghold at once. Farewell then. I wish you all the best on your adventure. Uh, I need something that does electric, but I I don't have something for them. Like what? Like how do I? Let me see. So activates water orbs. Anybody says like activates like grass orbs? <laughs> Yeah, none of that, okay. Oh wait, is this another champion? It is, and it's level 10. It's weak to, is that just saying it's weak to magic? Okay. Let's see how this goes. Wasn't expecting to have a, a champion fight like already this soon. And so, weak to magical, so I might as well I might as well just attack with like all our magical attacks. I think the bird only has uh, physical as well, nothing magical. It'd be pretty dope to get this thing as a uh, as like one of your monsters, though. Yeah, see, it's just weak to the magic. And holy crap, that's a lot of help. 3,000? Let's switch. Uh, he does fire. So I'll just switch you in then. Actually, I should, uh, I need to make my party different for, like, switch-outs like this, now that I think about it, because... Oh, okay, never mind. I have the, I have the right one. So right here, like, this bear regen stuff is, like, what's really clutch. Uh, that's why I wanted to get Maga up, or Magma Pillar. Just because that, that regen is really nice, and it has, like, a nice, uh, like, shield that you can apply to your team as well. But it's cool that you get to like rematch. Uh, damn, you're really trying to take out my boy. It's cool that you get to rematch these guys uh, later on in the future. So I think that's how we're gonna get the eggs is like get a stronger team, destroy these guys sooner, and then we should be good to go. And we got the burn. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We got Phoenix tier grapes. And then a scroll plus one. Hey, we got three level tens now. So that actually unlocks like our next like skill tree for levels and whatnot. So we got 5% crit chance. Increase that. Magical wind damage hits all enemies. I like that. Increase attack and magic by 1.5% of this monster's max health. That's pretty clutch actually. Trigger an additional 100% damage hit when applying chill. Debuff with an act or with an attack. Ice storm hits all enemies. 50% chance to apply chill. 
When exploiting enemies weakness with an attack, trigger an additional 50% damage hit. How many life? We got two life overlord? Overloads here? Yeah, damn, okay. That's crit damage. Yeah, uh... I want... We're, we're gonna up that. <laughs> There we go. Oh, hey, Blades. You come at just the right moment. I think I found a clue about the masked stranger in the blue caves. My familiar had a vague memory of this mask, just as you're familiar, I imagine. So it didn't take me too long to find something in the archives. But first off, you know all about the old world, right? I sure don't. I'm new to this world, bro. The old world is what's outside the monster sanctuary. Our current year 490 AC means after creation. 490 years ago, there was a war between the first monster keepers and the kings of the old world. The monster sanctuary was created during that war, magical barriers separating it from the rest of the world anyway. Ever since that war 490 years ago, the humans of the old world have been pursuing ways to explore all the uncharted regions of the earth and to learn all the secrets of the nature. They call it science. However, there were still a great number of alchemists in many countries of the old world during that time. Alchemy is an ever-changing craft. It results unpredictable and oftentimes dangerous similar or oftentimes dangerous, similar to magic. By 200 AC, alchemy was outlawed in all the empires of the world, old world, and even persecuted in some areas. But the oldest order of alchemists remained and they fled to the monster sanctuary in secret. That's all I found in these archives. In the books here, there's nothing written about what happened after the alchemists came to the sanctuary. That's really odd, don't you think? There's supposed to be more books somewhere in the Stronghold Dungeon, which is east of the Keeper Stronghold. We've got to do Keeper Battle Training before we can go there, though. The Keeper Battle Trainer is in the Keeper's Tower, just above this room. I'll go ahead. We've got to do the Keeper Battle Training. Is that, like, a way to, like, grind up? Well, I guess we'll go check that out then, right? Let me go to the blacksmith first, though. Oh, that's not the blacksmith. Okay, so... Here we are. The Keeper Duel Trainer said that he wants to talk to you first for some reason. I'm a little bit anxious, but I think we'll be fine. I've got to admit, I read up on the rules for Keeper Duels beforehand just to be safe. Well done, you've beaten enough champion monsters to qualify for Keeper Duel Training. This training will complete your initiation as a Keeper Novice. It's a step every fledging monster Keeper takes at some point. Technically, Will hasn't beaten enough champion monsters yet for this training. However, we've decided to make an exception in this case for two reasons. For one, we need at least two aspiring Keepers for this training. So, you'd have to wait for Will or another new Keeper to beat enough champion monsters. But even more importantly, we feared that it might take a long time for Will to achieve that. His parents say he's always got his head in the clouds, and he's just not the type to go adventuring and monster fighting. However, he's a very smart, intelligent young man. We hope that this training will give him a confidence boost by showing him what his monsters are capable of. But I'm not telling you to hold back on him. Feel free to use this opportunity to test your own skills too. Alright, Will. Come over here. I'll explain the rules of Keeper Dueling to the both of you now. I am Keeper Dueler, or I'm Keeper Duel Trainer... Got... Um... Gotthelm? Okay. And it is my task to teach young keepers about the rules of keeper dueling. For a thousand years or more, humans have settled their disputes by letting their beasts fight against each other. However, only when the monster sanctuary was created, the first monster keepers established a fixed set of rules for this kind of duel. Firstly, neither keeper nor monster is to be seriously injured during a keeper duel. That should be given to the both of you anyway, but it is customary for me to repeat this rule. In a keeper duel, each keeper uses their full team of six monsters, but as always, a keeper may not use more than three monsters at once. If a monster gets knocked out, its keeper may switch in one of their other monsters from their team. The turn order in a keeper duel is determined by chance. The keeper who has first turn may only use two of their three chosen monsters during their first turn as a drawback. The keeper who has second turn can use all of their three active monsters. The battle proceeds normally from that point on. Once either Keeper has managed to knock out their opponent's team of six monsters, they have won the fight. That concludes the theoretical part of this training. Next, you two will face off against each other so that I may see whether you have truly understood the rules. Are you ready for a Keeper duel? Or would you like to hear the rules one more time? 
Uh, we're, we're ready. And then we'll... He apparently weak as shit, so we're gonna we're gonna fuck him up, y'all. <laughs> um, I think I'm ready to. Let's show them what we're made of. All right then, young keepers. One of you has to challenge the other to a keeper duel. All right, blades of the spectral wolf bloodline. I challenge you to this keeper duel. All right, so I guess this is like where he's gonna. Start her off at, uh, I'm like trying to see who I want to bring out. Uh, we'll, we'll just, yeah, we'll just start <laughs> as usual and see how this goes. Okay, cool. We can like see like the backups for everybody too. I went first, so I can't even like attack, right? Try to make this some quick work. But yo, why is that attack like fire though? Like, like legit, it's really dope. For my boy, though, like what? <laughs> Looks like he might make quick work out of me. He's destroying my guys. We can use items and stuff. I like how it shows you like how much damage it's expected to like do. They're doing like crazy amounts of damage. That's wild. I thought y'all said he was weak. <laughs> okay, so one thing I just noticed right now. So if you take out each one in each like position, they can't get uh, substituted from one and like that's left over. So. You pretty much get one substitute for each position on your team, pretty much. Uh, that's actually pretty damn dope, actually. Uh, we're gonna use Claw because I think we get some health back from this. Yeah, we got life still. And we got the shield, too. Oh, wait. What? He actually did, like, bring someone in? Okay, well, that theory's wrong. <laughs>
Hopefully my monk is strong enough. If not, I'll just keep shielding up with, uh, with Magma Pillar. I need to get the, uh, the skill where when Magma Pillar deals damage, though, I get to shield up my team. That would be actually really clutch. Just like how his other Magma Pillar was doing that at the start. That's kind of what, like, started me off, like, really bad here. I don't know what this like infinity symbol there means. Oh, y'all done messed my boy up. more to the shield. <laughs> okay, I might lose this. Holy crap. Take out the bird. <laughs> Ooh, that did hella damage, actually. I, I, I like that. I like that. I didn't even like realize I like turned off the screen there. He had us in the beginning, y'all. He had us in the beginning. Oh, we got more people to level 10? Keeper Will has no more monsters in his team to continue the fight. Keeper Blades is the winner. You have earned your reward. Reward box level 1. Consume to get a random item. Not bad, kid. I knew we could beat them together, but you did a good job, too. Well done, friend. You did a really good job raising your monsters, and your strategy was smart, too. What was my strategy, bro? <laughs> I was just wondering what I could have done differently to win. Hmm. Anyway, I will try to train my monsters and think of different strategies. Alright then, you've completed Keeper Dual Training. You may now proceed to the other areas of the Sanctuary and challenge the other monster keepers you encounter. You may now proceed to other areas of the Sanctuary, so we can now fight others? Fighting other monster keepers lets you gain experience points and each keeper also has a different item reward in store for you if you beat them. I will head to the Stronghold Dungeon now, we've got to find those history books. I hope you'll be there too, Blades. I hope this has helped him to get braver. Either way, you should keep an eye on him. Strange things are going on in the Sanctuary nowadays. The number of champion monsters is completely abnormal. By the way, I offer Keeper Duel Challenges to you if you wish to test your skills against me. Okay. That, that, was, that was pretty interesting, guys. Not gonna lie. And we got these skill points. Way or halt. This path leads to the eastern parts of the sanctuary, the stronghold dungeon and ancient woods. You have beaten enough champion monsters to ascend to the rank of keeper novice, and you completed the keeper duel training. You tested your metal against monster and keeper alike, and therefore are ready to face the stronghold dungeon and the ancient woods. You may proceed now. Hey, okay. This looks like it's a green map. 
Oh, we got some some night warriors here. And resistant to wind, weak to water. Oops. Glory cast. We got sustain. And then yeah, you're you're weak to water. And if we get stronger eggs too, we can uh, hatch them and like replace the ones that we have. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I actually meant to use shield. Crackle Knight. Okay. Crackle Knight better be good. <laughs> let's let's see. <laughs> I'ma name him Crackhead. <laughs> Can we name it Crackhead? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Level nine. Uh Okay, it looks like it has like really good attack stats in general. Well, I'll skip this for you guys because I know this this might bore y'all. All right, let's get going because we got we got Crackhead on the team. Hey, Blades, I knew I heard some footsteps behind me. Looks like you're a keeper novice now. Great, but you do realize that being a monster keeper also means you've got some responsibility to take care of the sanctuary and all the monsters, right? Oh, I bet everybody's already told you that. They always put the fate of the whole sanctuary on, on, on our shoulders since we're the spectral keepers. Anyway, if you got the time, you should come to the ancient woods. The goblin tribes have been getting rowdy and there's rumors of a new goblin king who's rallying the tribes. It's been almost a hundred years since the last time that happened. It was my great grandmother who beat the goblin king back then. So I want to see if I can live up to her legacy and boost my rank and save the sanctuary in the process. Can't hurt to have another spectral keeper around it to cleave a path through the bands of goblins. That's where I'm going. It's just east from here and through some more rooms of the Stronghold Dungeon. See ya. All right, so I'll just at that room there so I know to to come back. <laughs> more corn. Uh is this wind actually? Is that what this like orb is? Uh, yeah. Okay, so now I have someone that can do this. Heal. Wow, a mass potion. That's nice. Oh, what is that? Rulu? It's like Cthulhu. <laughs> so you're weak to water. Or uh, weak to wind. Strong against water. That was interesting. Okay, so it's good to swap out your team. Yeah, that was like a really bad fight. <laughs> Now we got that shortcut there. Locked in over there. So we'll know we got to access another route in order to make like this quick travel spot or I guess shortcut. The one thing too about this game is like there's a really good amount of incentive to like fight everything you come across and that's just because like the monsters get stronger as you like unlock uh, more rooms so that's like one reason why you see everything like scaling with this too. Wow 
wow. So I just like came all the way here just to unlock another gate. <laughs> they, got, they got hella gates here. Oh dang, couldn't make that jump. And I just landed on enemies. Mad eyes. These are also weak to just magic. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll start the combat. my gosh. What this fight has showed me is that I need to have more balance between like physical and magical attacks because now it's interesting just seeing stuff actually have uh I'll say resistances to like all physical Fast travel, good to know.
We got some Toxiquus. The heck? All right. I mean, I'm fine with them being weak to to wind magic or wind damage. I need to get the team stronger though, so that way I can get these eggs quicker and then power up the stronghold too. That's like one thing I've been thinking about. What is this? Dang, I keep forgetting they have me click so freaking fast. What we picked up there. An odd looking blob monument. There seems to be a keyhole, but none of your keys fit. We gotta get like a blob key. Oh, we got two stronghold keys now. Good to know. Dang, how did I make that? Magma chamber. Okay, we unlocked like a new map, and I don't want to go explore that just yet, at least. Can I jump on this? Yep. Looks like we're trapped in a puzzle of sorts. All the way there just to get one chest? Oh, that's some BS. The only way out of this part of the dungeon is through this room. We'll have to solve this puzzle. That's fine with me. Let's look at what we got. Check and see which one we gotta mess with. There we go. Wizard hat, defense magic, or defense plus 24, magic plus 24. I'll probably put that on Yaoi or something.
Okay, that's just how we end up back in this room, right? Yep. That was like an interesting way to navigate like around like that. Look at that. Did that and like wasn't even trying. But all right, guys, I'm gonna end the episode off right here. We did like a lot of exploring in this map, actually. Uh, yeah, we explored a good bit of the green map, so I have one stronghold key left now. Um, I have to figure out where that's gonna go for unlocking stuff. But overall, I'm liking like the map progression that we have. Uh, I'll have to go back to some other areas as well, like uh, this left area over here, or orange area, I mean, more so. And that's just because there was like some lightning orbs that I need to activate in order to like some more items so i don't know what's over there but i'm gonna go check that out um one day or another but hope you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like for the video it helps out the video a lot and also subscribe to the channel because it lets me know you enjoy the content you see right here but with that said stay sharp later